Fun Adult Dream Team. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with NBA Legends explaining why Larry Bird was so good. Before we dive into this, y'all know I need y'all to dive into that subscribe button, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. Well, we got Larry Legend. Oh, that's disgusting. Okay, Larry. Easy. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. Hey, this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean David. Hey folks, what's good? Welcome back to the Basketball Time Machine. I hope you're ready for your weekly dose of old school NBA basketball. Let's get it. I recently discovered that I didn't cover my second favorite player of all time, Larry Bird, for almost four months now, which is way too long. So in today's episode, I want to show you guys NBA legends giving their opinion on how good Larry Bird was, and I really did my best to find some clips that you probably haven't seen a million times before. So <laughs> yeah, I hope I hit you guys up with some new stuff. And before we start, with this episode i want to ask you guys for a small favor if you're new to the channel please subscribe to the show and also if you like the content please hit the like button all right enough said now let's dive into today's episode i'm excited i'm excited now, how do we start? I would say I'm excited to see if it is new content because I've seen so much Larry Bird content. And a lot of it ends up being stuff I've already seen previously. So I'm excited to see some new ways. Let's start with Kevin McHale, the player that probably has the greatest Larry Bird stories. And in the following clip, he's sitting down with the legend himself talking about Larry Legend. I was laughing because I was in the All-Star game with you when you walked in and asked who was going to get second place in the three-point contest. When you walked <laughs> up, when you walked in there, what were, what, what were you thinking when... Uh, when you, when you made that announcement to the room, just messing with all those guys like you always did? Yeah, everybody. I didn't, you know, I had no clue. I never I never really practiced. I mean, me and Danny used to shoot some mm -hmm. uh, before we went out there, but uh, everybody's sitting there, everybody's real quiet. You really didn't, you knew the guys, but you never were around yeah. them. Mm -hmm. And nobody's really saying anything. So I walk in and look around and it just came out. I had no <laughs> clue I was gonna win it. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's it, just part of the competition. Okay, last question I like uh, to each of you. Top five players of all time. Kareem, Hakeem, Larry, Mike, and Magic. Mm. Okay. You put Larry Bird over Michael Jordan. No, I said Mike and Magic. MJ and Magic. Ma okay, but you, you put you put Larry first. Now, the next clip that I want to show you guys is from Will Ch You just asked him for his top five. You just said Kareem, Hakeem, Larry, Mike, and Magic. You should have asked him in order, what order would you put the five? Timberland, obviously an old clip from, I think from 1995, and he talks about how great Larry Legend was. Let's check it out. And talk to me about race for one second. Larry Bird is considered a great player, but don't they sort of elevate him because he's a white guy? Well, I, I think that that may be in the minds of many, but this man also was very, very talented. I think uh, right. he epitomized what a forward is supposed to do, and especially in the game that he played because he was technically correct. He was a correct type of basketball player, and most people today don't play the game correctly. I see. And he did. We still haven't heard Kobe or LeBron being mentioned. Uh, I, I'm, I'm thumb wrestling in that five between giving LeBron the edge over Larry. Bird mm. six. Okay. Bird, for those that don't know, won consecutive, won three straight MVPs in the league with the Showtime Lakers and Michael Jordan and the Bad Boys present. Three straight MVPs. That's crazy. Oh MVP. my God. Um, so you would say that was the baddest white boy ever? No question. It's not even <laughs> yeah. nice. No doubt. Okay. No doubt. Okay. Seven. And he coached me for three years in Indiana. Right. How about that? Exactly. One of the greatest players to ever play this game. Uh, a kid from French Lick, um, you know, Boston. And one of the few guys ever. Um, you know, being in a three point contest to shoot with a warm up shirt on. <laughs> and uh, for young guys that don't know him, you know, they, they think of Larry Bird as a jump shooter. Uh, but he was so much more than that. He was a passer. He averaged yeah. double digit rebounds. 
Um, he defended, took charges, and um, you know, he's a straight up complete basketball player. And me as a small forward, you know, Scotty, Er, uh, Doc, um, you know, uh, George Gervin, the guys that I kind of looked up to being a small forward. I'm a rookie here. Um my, my, my guy LeBron knows his basketball. He knows his basketball history. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he knows basketball past, present. And he probably know basketball future, to be honest. Uh, but, yeah, you, you see Larry getting all this respect by such phenomenal basketball players. Uh, you just know. He, even if you weren't around to watch it, you hear for other people talk about him. You know he was the real deal. Mark Aguirre didn't want to play against the Boston Celtics for whatever reason. Uh, could have been. Called bird -itis. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> bird -itis. So I was, uh, I think, at that point, the third small forward, and uh, Larry gave us 50. You know, so you see the outlet pass, beautiful outlet pass by a tree. Goes past the defense, Larry jumps, and I'm like, oh, he's, he's too late. He's too late. And I got fouled on this play, but uh, that dunk was more of a kind of an angry dunk because I think I, I got torched a couple of times earlier, so that was a way of getting back. Look out! He almost got ah! the on that one. Larry, I love you, but you knew better than a jump with Dominique, man. Just one-on-one, -on -one, straight up, both of y'all going to y'all's highest. If you're going to jump, you got to come from the help side where he not seeing you coming. He said, uh, I like you. You got heart, but I'm still getting 30 on you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, to me, I couldn't believe he jumped at it. When you talk basketball, just someone like Larry Bird, you know, you're getting, you're getting a history lesson too. I mean, the guy is part of history. You know, to play against guys like that in my career, that's, that's a once in a lifetime. Now the next clip that we're going to take a look at is with Patrick Ewing on the Dan Patrick Show talking about his relationship with Larry Bird and what made Larry Bird unique. Did he talk trash on the floor? Oh, definitely. That, I mean, I think, I think that story you talked about, X, I think that's one of the stories you got from me. Oh, you, you might, you might, yeah, you might have got it from me. We're all used to always talking about that he can't jump, he can't do this, he can't do that. And, you know, a lot oh of my, my friends was God. like that, you know. So, I, you know, I got to the league. I called all my friends back <laughs> up. I said, you know, all that trash that you were talking, you need to squash all that. This ah. this man is great. He can, he can, whatever you were saying for a man who can't jump, he he'll demo he can demo he's, he's demolishing everybody. So your your guys are saying, how can you let this guy? Oh, punk <laughs> he, he, he's doing it on everybody. <laughs> but playing basketball with Larry Bird was like singing with Jerry Garcia. It was like talking whoa, science whoa, with whoa, whoa. Albert Einstein. Uh, all, all, it was whoa, like whoa. talking history with Eugene Debs. Yeah, it was just absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I never played with a better player than Larry Bird. Magic, James Worthy, Kurt Rambis, Kareem Abdul, all the Laker greats. I would always sit down and just ask them questions about certain games that I studied growing up. What actually happened there? What did you feel there? Why? You know, Bird tough to defend. Why? Because you look slow as shit to me. So it's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm missing something. So like, tell me what I'm missing. You know what I mean? Fakes. <laughs> His IQ was just above, <clears throat> it was a notch above the rest. So maybe he didn't have the same physical attributes as speed and and his ability to jump and all that, but his IQ was so ahead. And I mean, the, the dude's also a good 6'9", 6'8", 6'9", bro. So he, had a big, he was very big. He passed it off the backboard to himself. This guy was going to do one thing almost every night that really spun your head around. Made you do like a Linda Blair. You just couldn't believe this was happening. To Burris. Bird. To Vincent. To Bird. Over the backboard! Oh! oh! I don't believe it! He was playing chess and everybody else was playing checkers. He was three moves ahead of everybody else. And you never knew what he was going to do, but you knew... In any era. And Shannon, you yeah. often said Larry was your favorite player growing up. And we know your stance on LeBron being the GOAT, but how close was Larry Bird to LeBron? I start with you. I think they're closer than people think. I don't think people realize just how talented Larry Bird was and how great he was. Larry Bird was a career 24, 10, and 6 guy. Was on the 10 seconds. Yeah, I mean, he do could. I always say he could have definitely 
been dominant in whatever area you dropped him in. Uh, <clears throat> would he have won all the MVPs? Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, but, dude, Dave Burgess, when you're that phenomenal of a basketball mm-hmm. player, uh, when you're top tier, you could. It doesn't matter what area you, area you're dropped in. You can just flat out play. And we came back <laughs> out of the timeout. Larry said, "I'm gonna get it right here, X, and I'm gonna shoot it in your blinking face." And I was like, "Well, I'll be right here waiting on you too." Let's see if they wind it all the way down. Bird hits the hook. What a shot by Larry Bird! He hit it. He looked at me. He was like, "Damn, I didn't mean to leave nothing on the clock." And I just looked at him and said, oh, conceited bastard. The greatest buzzer beater of them all was against Portland on a Sunday afternoon in Boston. DJ again to make the inbounds pass. That was crazy. Larry, fake, fall away. That was crazy. Crazy. The gentleman you just talked about, Larry Bird. Oh, shit, that's, that's the main shit. He's like, he's like, your magic, your Kareem, you know, that once in a life player. Uh, franchise changing player that that uh the category that larry was in and not to mention i like the way he led us as a team he wasn't in your face you know that uh talking trash to you he led by example i hear you that you retired thank goodness i'm glad i'm tired of seeing your face there are a lot of sad memories to me but you know, I, you, I wish you a lot of luck I think you had a very wonderful career, even though you probably ruined a lot of my uh, successful games against the ball himself. All right, you guys, that was it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the content. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I guess I'll see you next time on the Basketball Time Machine. No, oh, that's all we got about the great, great Larry Bird. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop them in the comment section. See what you need. Out.